Okay, moving on. Now we've gotten that taken care of. Um, so no complaining. We'll continue, move on from that. Um, I wanted to give you an update on the Bless You Project. Thank you um, to all of you who in the past couple months have sent me hundreds of um, the tissue cozies already made. Um, and for those of you who have sent the tissues that go inside, um, I am almost out. I am sending out 400 um, next week. Uh, actually, well, I'm leaving tomorrow, so um, I'm having my sister and my nieces help me package those up. I got a whole new um, delivery of labels yesterday, so we're going to get those packed up and sent out. Um, I have a request for 400 more for a cancer center. So while that's exciting, I'm going to recruit your help to um, get these, help me get these little cozies created. As I mentioned in my email that I sent out to the Documented Faith Group, um, the site was down for a while blessyouproject.com and um, it's back up. I had to rebuild it without building skills. I don't know why all of a sudden I'm becoming this builder. Construction, management, building. A lot to add to my resume once I get it updated. Anyhow, I need to add the um, video on my pattern on how to make these, but if you do go to Pinterest or you Google Tissue Cozy, um, you will find a, like a, what's it called? Why can't I think about it? Directions on how to make them. That would be great. Um, any help that I can get from all of you is wonderful. So thank you for that. That's an update on there. Um, also, I wanted to talk about... Uh-oh. Um, some books that I've been talking about and finish reading and starting. So this one's an old one. Um, not old, but I read it last year. Put Your Warrior Boots On by Lisa Whittle. One of my most favorite books ever in the history of ever. Um, if you have access to this book or you can order it online, I suggest also getting a highlighter with it because it's good. It's really good. This is where the Jesus Strong um, stamp was born um, because she talks a lot about being Jesus Strong. So that is this here, Jesus Strong. I'll talk about this in a minute. Another book that I just finished, The Masterpiece by Francine Rivers. It's a big book and it was beautiful. It was just beautiful. So thank you to Gail for putting this on my bed at Creative Soul Camp. Um, it's a beautiful book. I am starting this book today, The Way of the Dragon or The Way of the Lamb. And it's um, required reading for my um, upcoming revelation, wellness revelation um, training. So I'm going to be starting to read this. Um, seems like a good one. This training, I'm excited about this, starts at the end of August. And I'll be telling you more about that as time moves on. Um, okay, so on the stamped sampler project, um, here's a look at mine so far. Um, if you've ordered them, they're all on their way. Texas is going out today. I realized, and I said this on an Insta story, which you wouldn't have seen, maybe. Um, it's been so hot and humid here that as I was stamping these, I was stamping them and then I was kind of setting them out, but I didn't heat set them, which isn't really required. I didn't do that on mine. Um, but when I stamped them and then set them out and then folded them and then put them in a bag and put them in the mail, the heat, the humidity, the moisture in the ink, it made some of them really moist and bleedy. 
So if you got one and it's just, I've only heard from one that is really having um, a bleeding problem with the ink, I will send you another one. So you can contact me or if you have one and you haven't started yet, I won't ask you why. Just kidding. Um, just take an iron, heat set it, let it dry out. Um, I don't wash these. If I washed it, it would shrink up. There's no need to wash it. Um, if you are on Instagram, you can follow the hashtag stamped sampler. I don't know if you didn't know, you can follow hashtags. So that's kind of been um, a saving grace for me as far as people that don't know that I'm new on Instagram. In fact, I just got a text yesterday from a friend of mine that said, hey, just checking in with you because I haven't seen you on Instagram lately and want to make sure everything is okay. Like I said, there are still 15,000 people out there that don't know that I am a new account. I would just think that maybe they could search me and find me, but we should probably search, seek God and find him and not seek me and find me. Just, there you have it. I should start a stand up. Okay, um, one, two last things. I hope I don't forget. I'll just say it right now. Um, Downton Abbey. No one ever told me about how good it was. I was, I am a huge fan of The Crown, uh, Downton Abbey. With this heat and me working um, in the kitchen a lot and standing there, uh, there's, not that I need a TV. It, the TVs generate too much heat, honestly. Um, so on my MacBook Pro, any laptop, um, I started watching Downton Abbey and I can't stop. I've been binge watching. Um, I'm on season five and I've only been watching it about a week and I think season five is the fifth year. And I've been, I just love it. I even talked in my head, talk in my head in an English accent. <laughs> I better have some coffee after that. Please tell me if you've watched The Crown or Downton Abbey after you watch it so much that you start thinking in an English accent. I haven't actually spoken a word in an English accent, but I'm pretty close. So, it's so good. I want to go to England. Actually, it is. Well, never mind. Okay. Lastly, many of you have asked about this little, little composition book. It's hard to tell how small it is. Um, but if I put up the actual, well, this is going to be the cover for my um, Documented Faith binder. So this is the size of the binder. Well, actually, here's the whole piece. Okay. So here's the whole piece. Here's the whole piece of the little tiny, so you can tell the difference. It's a little mini composition book, and I made a little cover for it. Um, I mentioned it on my Insta stories, but in case you didn't know, this workshop, Mixed and Stitched Journaling Bible Cover, doesn't have to be for a journaling Bible. Just, just because you may not have one of these, or those, um, doesn't mean you can't make a cover for, let's say, this. Um, I teach you, and I'll even give you a little example, bad example, but this is what, if you covered this book, this is what it would look like. I teach you in the workshop how to measure out for whatever you're covering. So whether it's a giant book or a little tiny book or something in between, um, you can do that. So. This is for my um, example on Saturday. If you're in Florida, there are a couple seats left, um, but I need to know today because I need to make the kits for you. So anyway, this wraps up Thursday morning coffee talk at the kitchen table on a Wednesday outside. And workers should be arriving shortly, so the day will begin. Hope you're having a fabulous week. Stay cool. If you are here in 
the west. Stay safe if you're in the east. I think there's a lot of rain or storms or flooding or in Colorado, be careful. Um, and don't forget, drink lots of water. Or use your Yeti as um, a weight. If I had to, I would do that because I won't be walking today. Have a great day. See you next week.